All right, everyone, we are back at it again. The Latin Company taking over. I am excited because we are in a new venue, Punchline Philadelphia. Thank you for having us here. Now, if you've been following me on my Instagram stories, you know I'm always posting about Darius Coleman. Everyone's like, who is this man? Who is this man? I know who you are, but share the story. Like, who is Darius Coleman? Well, thank you so much for having me, first and foremost. And uh, it's so ironic that Delilah & Co. is the same letters as Darius Coleman with the initials, is, you know what I'm saying? So it's at its finest. At its finest. Um, nah, but my name is Darius Coleman, and I am a singer-songwriter from the city of brotherly love. I'm right, right here from Philly. Um, yeah, just a, just a young man trying to make his dream a reality. Why should we listen to your music? You know, there's a lot of artists that are trying to make it, they are releasing songs on a daily basis. What sets you apart from different artists? So here's the thing, right? You know, I feel like there's a lot of people who would say that music is the universal language. And I feel like if I can make something that everybody can get behind, that's a success. Granted, there's no possible way that every single person is going to want to listen, but if I can maximize the number of people who want to listen, I think that's a success for me. Um, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, like, they all sell the same thing, but there's something different about each one of them, the way they do what they do, that makes people want to go to them over other brands, over, over their competitors. And so I feel like, you know, with the kind of music that I'm making, if I can make the best music that Darius can make, then that'll make me special enough that people will want to listen because I'm the only Darius who can make Darius Coleman music. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, so yeah, I, I think my music is special. I think that my music is timeless. And I think that it's, it's the kind of music that you want to listen to. It puts you in that feel-good space. You know what I'm saying? Get your day going, get them vibes right, get the energy pumping. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's She already know. She already know. A1 day one. Sundown, your newest single you just released, like talk about it. What was the inspiration behind it? Where were you when you were when you were writing it, when you were producing it? Like what's the story behind Sundown? Yeah, so so Sundown came about um it was actually a, a crazy trip. So I ended up uh, taking a trip to LA. Okay. And while I'm in LA, um there's a friend of mine who's from Philly. A shout out to, to Dilemma and uh, and to Joe Logic, the guys who produced the record. We had been friends here in Philly for, I want to say close to a year, but for whatever reason, we just never were able to link up. Like our schedules, for whatever reason, always conflicted and we never were able to get up in Philly. So we ended up linking up for the first time on the West Coast. Our first session was actually out in LA at a dope, dope house that they've rented um, to turn into a studio space for the time that we were there. And um, it was an incredible opportunity to, to, perform a record that I felt like from the very first moment I heard it, it was mine. Like he played it and like, I, I want to say 20 seconds and I was like, bro, I need that. So, so, so the thing is, anytime I, anytime I hear a record that I think is mine, I always say this gives me DC vibes and 20 seconds in, I was like, bro, DC vibes all day, bro. So, um, so we threw the record on, we did it and I wrote it maybe in about I don't know about 40 minutes um and we all kind of felt like it was special in that moment and um and right after that i'm just like okay cool um i think this is going to be a i think this is going to be a really really big record for me oh you actually just finished filming the visuals for sundown this video is about to be crazy literally never seen a concept like it i'm excited wait till you guys see and i may or may not be making a special cameo on the video don't ask how that happened <laughs> But talk about it, like how did the concept come about, like is there any brands you featured in the video, like just share the details with whatever you can share. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, you know, we can't we can't give it all away, right, because the video hasn't dropped yet. But listen, before I say any of that, shout out to Dee for being in the video. She came through super clutch at the last minute, like, and, and saved us, literally saved us. So thank you for that. Um, but yeah, so so the video is, is officially shot. I'm excited because this is my very first music video and I could not be more excited to kind of like debut myself to the world in this particular way. I feel like we put a lot of time and energy and effort into making this video as amazing as we could. And the real, the real, listen y'all, the reality is behind the scenes, like we really did not even have this like large elaborate budget or anything that would have, yeah, like it, you would, Right, I'm a left. 
<laughs> what she said. When you see the video, y'all gonna be like, wow, like you did this with no budget? That's crazy. Um, but there were some really, really like strategic things that, that for me, I wanted to make sure were included. You know, I got inspired when we watched, we watched this documentary called The Defiant Ones. And yeah, with, with Jimmy Iovine and, and, and Dr. Dre. And so when we, after, after I watched that, I was so inspired by that. I'm like, yo, we gotta make sure like we feature beats in the video, like, because they're such an iconic brand and, and they really represent so like a real aspirational level of like, you want to be one of those people featured by a Beats by Dre. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to be in those headphones like walking down the street because everybody just knows like yeah I'm part of the Beats crew you know what I'm saying um and then we had okay so with, I, 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 I'm trying not to give all of it away I don't want to tell you everything D well you know because you were there but y'all don't know but so here's the thing all right so we may or may not have a couple of Cadillacs in the in the in the in the video and the thing is like when you think of like this supreme luxury idea like everybody's just like you know whipping in the caddy you know what I'm saying like it's cool um it's always been cool they've been around since you know the the early 30s or whatever and now they're still like rocking with culture nowadays so um for us we really wanted to kind of like spotlight some of these people who who or these brands I should say who we felt like were really really dope and so in the video we may or may not have a couple of Cadillacs from a couple of different decades maybe I don't know I can't I can't confirm or I can't confirm or deny but uh it's a possibility so um but yeah so it was just really important for us to kind of like take advantage of some of the some of the brands that that really inspired us and and, and that really kind of reflect the same kind of values that that we do or that that I do in you know in terms of the Darius Coleman brand so yeah it's it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be a magic moment ladies and gentlemen <laughs> shameless plug <laughs> right <laughs> Okay, so one thing that I genuinely appreciate about you is that you are a family-oriented man. You do everything with your family. Your family does everything with you. A big part of your camp are members of your family. Like, what values does your family instill in you that are you taking to, like, on your road to success? Oh, yeah. So, um, family is everything to me. And I think that the biggest inspiration for why I do what I do is because of my family. First of all, my parents, like shout out to them, they are like the goats because um, I went to uh, performing arts high school here in Philadelphia, but at the time we were living in Jersey. So my parents literally got up at the crack of dawn every day for four years and drove me to school. And I'm like, just for that, right, shout out to y'all. Like y'all are the real MVPs because just on that alone, who does that like what parents are getting up at we were i was up at 5 45 every morning so i could be at school by 7 30 because it took us an hour to get to school and um you know so so that part of it was a, a blessing my family has instilled especially from my parents they've instilled a sense of grind a sense of work ethic a sense of self-value and self-worth and they're they always used to say to us and they still say it to this day they always say remember who you are but remember whose you are and so that is what has grounded me is the anchor that god is my source that god is my supply and that anything that i have or will ever achieve is because of god and so i even really believe that god put my family together the way he did because he knew that we needed each other to help each other's dream become a reality and so what i do is a compliment to what somebody else does and what they do is a compliment to what somebody else does so i'm like my family was like i was curating he was up there right Exactly, exactly. I'm gonna give you that, I'm gonna give you that, and I'm gonna give you that because all of those things work together and all of y'all are gonna be able to succeed together as a family. And we love each other, like we genuinely love each other. My family spends a lot of time together. Y'all, we spend a lot of time together. But we actually like being with each other. Like it's not like, oh, here we go again. Like I gotta see them people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you, y'all, y'all, listen. The Latin community, they families are rock solid. So I know it's, ex it's exactly the same. What top three rules for success do you have and something that you remind yourself as you're on this journey? It's a great question. I think that, um, I guess if I had to break it down into three rules, I would say the first one of those is to remain humble. I think that when you remain humble and you're in a constant state of gratitude and humility, it always allows them there's more opportunity for you to receive more when you are consistently thanking God for what you have. The more you complain, the more you'll have to complain about. But the more you express gratitude for it, the more you'll have to be grateful for. 
Um, I think that the second thing is that you have to be a diligent, hardworking, committed individual. And if you want your dream bad enough that you're willing to die for it, when you want that so bad that it's like it's the same as, as breathing for you, when the passion is so like it's so infuriating in the inside of you. I think I don't even know if that's a word, but when you feel it burning down on the inside um, and you want it as bad as you want to breathe. I think that you will succeed because that relentlessness will carry you over into whatever whatever your passion is. And then the third thing I would say is I think you have to know your strengths. I think you need to be aware of what you're good at and what you're not good at. And then you can find the people who are not um, excuse me, you can find the people who are good at what you're not good at so that it makes you complete. You know what I'm saying? To kind of go off of what he was talking about, just having uh, like genuine gratitude every morning when you wake up. Understand that like when you appreciate life in itself, like your entire life will change. I mean, that's how the whole occupying your mindset started. Like you change your you change your mindset, you'll change your life. So even if something as simple as like waking up every single day and just like I'm alive, I'm well, I'm above ground, thank you, thank you, thank you. So what whatever life may throw at you that day, you're alive. Like you have another chance to make it better the, the following day. It's just little things like that. And it's just I mean, I appreciate that a lot. Like, thank you so much for sitting down with us with Delilah and Company. I'm so excited to feature you on our platform and just obviously to see you win and continue to grow and succeed and all that fun stuff. <laughs> I mean, let, let me say this one thing right here, right now. And you heard it from me first, ladies and gentlemen. There is not a more genuinely supportive, caring, loving person than this young lady, Delilah, right here. When I tell you she is the definition of... A supporter like her support is so real and is so genuine and I'm grateful and appreciative that God allowed our paths to cross and now I got my new hermana <laughs> over here y'all hear me rolling my R's you see what I'm saying I'm trying to I'm trying to get better I've been practicing I'm trying to get better but no but but from from me to you and in, in all sincerity I appreciate how supportive you've been for me I'm grateful I'm humble and I'm honored to be your first guest on your platform. And y'all keep y'all eyes out for this young lady. This is a this is a this is a fireball right here. She's so full of energy, so full of life, and this there is no limit. I was about to say the sky is the limit, but there is no limit to what you're gonna achieve and what you're gonna accomplish. So I'm glad I could be a part of this journey. Shout out to Delilah and Co for having DC. DC by DC. Um and that's it, that's all.